Assembling pipe and fittings equipped with the Bulldog restraints is not the same as conventional gasketed PVC pipe. This video will show the proper assembly procedure. The technology developed by Bulldog Restraint System, a division of S&B Technical Products in Fort Worth, Texas, incorporates a ductile iron casing and grip ring to restrain the joints. The casing is molded into the pipe or fitting bell during the manufacturing process, and after testing, the grip ring is added. Both the grip ring and casing are completely coated with a very effective corrosion protection. Here's how it works. During assembly, a force pushes the spigot bevel or camphor through the bell lip. The bevel enters the grip ring. The bevel centers the grip ring inside the casing. The grip ring expands ever so slightly. The grip ring rides on the spigot as it's pushed to the back of the casing. The grip ring ends its ride as it butts up against the back of the casing. The spigot continues its course towards the reber gasket. The bevel comes in contact with the reber gasket. The bevel displaces the rubber sealing portion of the reber gasket. The spigot continues its course towards the back of the bell. When the reference, stop, or insertion line reaches the bell lip, assembly is complete. When a force tries to separate the joint, the retaining ring grips the spigot and restrains the joint. Now you know how it works, so let's put a joint together. Like conventional PVC pipe assembly, the bell and spigot need to be clean and free of any foreign material. With Bulldog, the grip ring must be clean and free to spin in the casing. Unlike conventional PVC pipe assembly, approved assembly lube should be applied to the gasket and not the spigot of the pipe. Take care not to get lube on the grip ring. Lube may be applied to the bevel or camphor of the pipe if applied sparingly. We're now ready to assemble the joint. Insert the spigot of the pipe into the bell, making sure the pipe and bell are in alignment. Push the pipe until the assemble mark on the spigot reaches the lip of the bell. Take care not to over-insert the spigot. Some pipes have minimum and maximum assembly marks, and assembly should be past the first mark and not the second. If pipe is being installed in an open cut, you're done. If pipe is being installed in a casing, install casing-approved spacers at the assembly mark. This will prevent over-insertion of the spigot into the bell if the pipe pushed through the casing. When installing pipe by the horizontal direction drilling method or through casings, it's recommended that bulldog restrained joints be set before the pipe string is pulled into the pilot hole and through the bore. The time it takes a contractor to set the joint is not significant and ensures the joint is set above ground. Simply pulling back on a joint with three to four times more force than was required to make the assembly will confirm proper setting of the grip ring. Several methods can be used to set the joint. Attach a choker to the bell of the pipe that was assembled into the previous bell. Using a bar, pull back on the pipe until the joint is set. This method works well on four and six inch pipe. For larger pipe, a clamp around the pipe can be used as an anchor point. Pull back by attaching a chain to the clamp and use an excavator or similar piece of equipment to apply backward pressure. When job site conditions allow multiple pieces of pipe to be assembled, the entire length or string of assembled pipe can be set in one operation. The string set can be accomplished in several ways, provided each joint is placed under tension. Attach one end of the pipe assembly to a stationary object and then pull on the other end with an excavator or like type of equipment. A rubber tire vehicle can be used provided enough tension can be placed on the pipe assembly. Attach the pipe assembly to the boring machine using the pulling head in preparation for installation. Secure the other end of the pipe string and use the boring machine pullback to apply tension to the entire pipe string. The set should be accomplished before pulling the first joint into the bore. The boring machine can also be used as the stationary object by attaching the assembled pipe string. Apply tension by pulling on the other end of the assembly. The Bulldog Restraint System has been proven to be an easy-to-use, cost-effective method of joint restraint. Following the assembly and set procedures described in this video will result in a fast and trouble-free installation.